Officer Hamilton. He doesn't answer to that anymore, not since the accident. Ryan, honey, these nice people would like to talk to you. I'm playing. Ryan, remember me from before? I bought two people I want you to meet. Not now. So no memories at all? No. Hard to believe. How are you doing? I'm so confused. No, I, I try to talk to him. I try to tell him that I am his wife. Mm. But he mostly just wants me to play with him, like I'm a babysitter. I've taken him to so many hospitals. No one can do anything for him. Please help me. We were planning on starting a family of our own, and all. I need my husband back. Kayla, where's my juice box? It's, it's right here, Ryan. I got the pick of that. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. James, you should let a doctor. I'm fine. <laughs> so, Ryan, tell me, how old are you? Ryan? Ryan. James, easy. Mm. Mm-hmm. These are pretty cool, huh? I guess. This one's the coolest. Everyone loves Dr. Wallace. But what about this guy? It's Mr. Evil. <laughs> funny. He's gonna kill everyone. With green lasers that shoot out of his eyes and out of his butt. I don't think he'd do that. Then I'm gonna chop his head off. Yeah, that might be hard to do since he's composed of reinforced acrylonitrile butadiene styrene. Then I'm gonna throw him out the window. Maybe you should give him back to me instead. No, he's gotta suffer. Hey, let's, let's go. Let's go, Ryan. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Let's go. Give it back to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am so sorry. James, are you okay? He hasn't forgotten how to throw a right hook. It's okay, Ryan. Wow. Doctor, it's okay, Yikes. I believe Ryan Hamilton suffered a focal injury to his memory center from his car accident. His functional MRI shows decreased activity in his hippocampus, the part of the brain that seeks out and retrieves stored memories. The question is, how do we reactivate the hippocampal neurons Ryan needs to help him remember who he is? And if we bring his memories back, will that bring his maturity back? How is amnesia usually treated? It typically, it's treated with therapy. Yes, but progress is slow and outcomes are unpredictable. Well, we're Bunker Hill. We can do better. May I? How about optogenetics? You mean that thing where they tried using light to activate neurons in mice brains? Didn't just try. They succeeded. Ooh, cybermouse. If we can implant a network of microscopic lights over Ryan's brain, I could use a computer to code that network in order to reprogram his memories. I've always wanted to reprogram someone's brain. Yes, but light is not likely to penetrate a human brain. The hippocampus is too deep. I was thinking of something a little less. Brilliant. Insane. Instead of light, we use electricity. We use neurostimulation to jumpstart his hippocampus. We send electromagnetic pulses that can penetrate brain tissue. Even if that works, how do we know for certain that Ryan's memories are still in there? We don't but we don't know for certain that they are. Exactly. The only way we know for certain whether his memories are gone is if we try to go in and get one. Do you remember learning to be a policeman? Going to the academy? Maybe uh, how it felt to be there, a smell? Think back on when you wanted to become a police officer. Hi. Hi. Flickers back. I'm gonna try increasing magnetic flux density. Ryan. This might be a memory. What can you remember about the academy? Grass. What, Ryan? I remember the smell of fresh cut grass. It's hot. Sonny, forgot my sunglasses. It's great, Ryan. Keep going. Chief, Chief pins a badge on me. Oh my God. It's his graduation day. Officer's best weapon is compassion. He says, I couldn't help it. I start to cry. Oh my God. He's still in there. 
Now that we got that one memory, when he wakes up, will there be more? Will we get him back? Well, as we said, there's no way to know. I know. Just, what does your gut say? I'm not sure. And what about the whole acting like a child? Well, we hope as we restore more memories, his maturity level will return. But again, we don't know yet. It's still a bit of a mystery. When I look at him, he looks just like my husband. And then when he wakes up, I have to be his mother. I love him. And I know that he can't help being sick. And I take my vows very seriously. But what if I can't look at him again like he's my husband? Officer Hamilton. Who? Who are you? We're your doctors. You're in a hospital. Why? You did a STEM session yesterday. We talked about your graduation day. Do you remember the police academy? No. Do you know your name? Do you know how old please, you are? Please go away. Ryan. Please go away. Ryan, go away. Ryan, it's Kayla. You want this? You want this? Why did he lose that memory? Kayla, we always thought the accident that your husband was in caused his illness, but it was the other way around. We were able to pull some security footage from a bank a block away from the accident. Uh, yeah, freeze it. You see, he's clutching his chest. This is before the accident. And he loses consciousness. This is timestamp 10 seconds before the accident occurred. So he had a heart attack. That's what caused the accident. Oh my God. Your husband had a series of mini strokes causing ongoing damage to his brain. And that's what caused the regression and his memory loss. The pacemaker we put in should help tremendously to prevent future mini strokes. A and the mini strokes are what were keeping him from retaining the memories, um, right? Yes. So any memories that come back, he should be able to retain. <laughs> that's amazing. So how long before he can do more neurostem sessions? Um, unfortunately, um, neurostimulation is no longer a viable option. Neurostimulation creates an electromagnetic field that will interfere with the pacemaker and cause it to malfunction. Ryan is still in there somewhere. Okay, we saw him. His memories are still there. But you're saying that you just don't have a way to go in there and get them? We will keep trying to find a safe way to reach those memories. We won't try. We will. Kayla, have you ever heard of optogenetics? Uh, no. We're going to go in and reprogram your husband's brain. With your permission. Kayla, we're implanting a fiber optic array of microscopic infrared lights over Ryan's hippocampus. Then we'll ask him questions and analyze the neural activity to determine which neurons are healthy. I'll write code to turn on the lights in the correct sequence in order to activate the healthy neurons and create new memory retrieval patterns. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Ryan, do you know the name of the street you grew up on? I don't know. That's completely fine. Do you remember your mother's name? Lee. Leah. Lisa. I don't know. Kayla, do I have to keep doing this? Ryan, this is actually very helpful. As you concentrate, I can see which neurons are working. And I can help you turn them on. Well, you're doing great, Ryan. Don't worry. It's OK. Let's hear more about mom. OK, Ryan. What do you remember about your mother? I remember? She got sick. All right. Right into new territory here. Do you remember Ryan? I remember her trying not to cry. And I told her, I said, don't worry, I'm going to take care of you from now on. I remember the last Christmas before she died. She came with me to a homeless shelter. My unit was handing out presents, and a little boy looked up at me and big eyes. One day I want to be just like you, he says, and, and she says, and your mother will be so proud.